Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is the second part of a two-part series I'm making concerning the Taiko ZK EVM protocol. The first video was an overview of the protocol on what they do, what they're about. You can check out that video. Link will be in the description. In this video, we're going to be exploring the protocol's documentation and attempt to deploy a contract to their testnet. If we head over to the documentation, the steps are pretty straightforward. Everything seems to be very intuitive and we will be exploring that and seeing how well things are able to come together. So before we get into that, the very first thing we want to do, as said here in the prerequisite, we need a wallet with some test ETH on Tyco. And we can do that by making use of the bridge. So we're going to head over to the bridge right now. And that is bridge.catla.tyco.xyz. I already have my wallet account connected. So you want to connect your wallet, your MetaMask wallet, preferably, I suppose. And we are going to be bridging token from whole sky to Catla. Catla is Taikyo's newly launched testnet that is functional as at today. So what we want to do is select East and select the number of token you want to bridge from whole sky to Catla. And we're just going to click on bridge. And that should take anywhere between 30 seconds to one minute. I'm going to go ahead and confirm this transaction. And we can track that here. So I already have some tokens bridged to the Catalan network and I can skip this step or, you know, I don't have to wait for it. But you might just have to spend a few minutes waiting for it to actually bridge the tokens. All right. So we're back to the documentation. The next set of things we need will be to install Foundry. Now that said here, you need to have Rust set up on your computer before you can install Foundry. So I encourage you to head over to the Rust website to get the latest version of Rust and ensure that it's fully functional. And then you can come back here to install Foundry and then set up Foundry. The process is also pretty straightforward and you shouldn't have that many issues. So once we have Foundry installed, we can proceed to setting up our project. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Terminal here. I currently have a project created, but I'm just going to start over for the sake of this tutorial. So I'll just forge in it a new project and call it Hello World. And I can also just CD into that at the same time by running CD Hello. So we're just going to spin up our project and also CD into that directory at the same time. All right, so now that we're into that directory, we are going to open our project with VS Code. Okay, we have our project open on VS Code and we can see a simple counter.soul solidity smart contract. This is going to be a really quick video because there aren't anything fancy. We are not rewriting this contract. This is not a smart contract tutorial. I will be making more of those, so stick around. But this is just a deployment. We're just taking this contract and deploying it into the Catalan network. So what we're going to do is copy this code here which is a code we use to deploy our contract with Foundry, create a new file. And so what's going to happen is we're going to replace this, your private key with your very own private key, the private key of the wallet where you've gotten some test tokens from. So I'm going to go ahead and replace mine with my very own private key, but I'm going to blur that because it is sensitive data. So I have my private key set up. The next step is to get this code that we already have with our private key and paste it on our terminal. Once we have that, we're simply going to run this code. It's going to do a bunch of things. It's going to compile our contract and then it's going to go ahead and deploy our contract. Pretty straightforward. Nothing should break, all things considered. So let's run that and see what happens. So our contract is currently compiling. That was successful. Okay, finally, our contract has been deployed. As you can see, the deployer, which is my wallet address and where it was deployed to. And we have a transaction hash that we can track. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to head over to the block explorer. So to find the block explorer, we're going to head over to Tyco.xyz explorer and do click on that. And now we're going to paste the transaction hash. And as we can see, it says 39 seconds ago, which is clearly our contract that has been deployed. And that is really good. So this is it. This is all it takes to deploy a smart contract to the Catla testnet on Tyco. And that is all there is to it. Like I said, this was going to be a very short, straight to the point video. And this is all you need to have that up and running. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to actually see this process work in real time. This is how you deploy a smart contract. And this is how you check the transaction hash of the smart contract. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you around.